But um, that clearly works. You just tell them. You know, make a little video of you walking around, doing simple things for people. And they're just saying those two words throughout the entire video. You know what I'm saying? And you just continue through the video. It's like, see, the power of these two words is so, so incredible. It makes a person feel good about themselves. It makes a person feel as if they actually done something with their life. Things like that. Like, if you like to know the secret or the success behind these two words, simply fill out your name and email, and you'll be sent to uh, a checkout page. I'm only selling these this secret to ten people. It costs ten bucks. Ten people. That's all I need, right there, or whatever. You tell them what they're gonna get. You tell them what they have to do beforehand. They probably be like, ah, oh, at least he's telling me what I have to do. I'm like, I have to guess. Most people opt in. They're thinking, I opt in. Why? Hold on. That was my mom. Um, and as you guys probably know, I need to buy a dryer. Um, how does my mom approve of me doing this type of stuff? Simple. It makes me money. <laughs> so, it's really it. So. What does that have to do with anything? I like how black people be in the hood. What? <laughs> I don't like that. Actually, it's terrible. When the money kick in, nobody cares if it's fit as I am. That's true. Nobody really does care. If it's making people money, nobody cares. So, it's the thing. They'll be against it in the beginning. You're doing what? I think it probably helps because I'm a soldier, so I can do what I want at this point. But um, they look at it as if, you want to do what? I want to make money online. It's not going to work, right? And then my first check from ClickBank was for like $324. And then I showed mom the check. Well, the check was actually laying on my bed, and she walked in my room and seen the check. She's like, what you get a check for? That's well, from ClickBank.com. ClickBank, I never heard of it. Well, you sell stuff online. And I'm an affiliate, pro, uh, promote other people's products through ClickBank, and they send you checks. So, then mom's like, well, damn, it's actually working. Like, yeah, it does work. So, yeah, my mom didn't know what the hell ClickBank was. She didn't even know if it was possible to make money online. What I told her, the first thing I told her was, it is like a million percent possible because somebody is doing it or else ClickBank wouldn't exist right now. PayPal wouldn't exist. Somebody's making money online. So it's just finding out how these people are doing it. Vivian, you're crazy. Your mother and my mother might have been siblings in the past. I know it's the same thing. True. Hell yeah. Preach that, bro. Yeah, that's what I told her. Really, like, mom, if this person who taught, who's teaching me, like Jamie Lewis, I'm like, if Jamie Lewis is doing it, somebody else besides Jamie Lewis is also doing it. People who've listened to what Jamie Lewis told, said to do, is doing it. Somebody else is doing it. It's just not this one person. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, ClickBank wouldn't be famous if people weren't doing it. PayPal wouldn't exist. eBay wouldn't exist. Amazon.com wouldn't exist. None of these big companies would exist if nobody was making money online. So, I made that point blank. Like, Mom, here's what I want you to do. Don't buy anything from Walmart. Don't buy anything from Amazon. Don't buy nothing from Best Buy, GameStop. Don't buy no TVs in the future. Don't pay for cable. Don't pay for any of that stuff. And let me just tell you, if you don't pay for anything, you'll realize how badly we need the internet, okay? She's like, what? Okay, yeah, try it, yeah. She was like a day late, and then she was like, yeah, I can't really, yeah, like, you need to use the computer, huh? You need to use the internet, huh? Lucky for me, I have a phone that I can tether to use the internet on my computer. And she's like, how are you using the internet? Because I'm paying for my internet right now. I'm using my phone's data plan to connect me to the internet. See what I'm saying? I have to check my email. Without the internet, you can't check your email. <laughs> so, 
without some type of connection to a satellite, you won't be able to check your email. And as we know, when you work at a job, most people, they either call you or they send you emails. When they send memos, they go through emails. You need an internet connection to check your email. So, let's put it in perspective. Like, you need the internet. The internet is something you have to pay for. That you're paying that company. That company's making money off the internet right now. So, so you can't just think of people making money. ClickBank is probably rich as hell right now. ClickBank makes a ton of money because of all the vendors on ClickBank, plus the affiliates. You know, ClickBank takes some type of money, like maybe 15% of whatever it is that person just made. So, ClickBank makes money. PayPal makes its money. All these companies make their money, and they're offering an online service. Look at Aweber. You see, you're paying Aweber 19 bucks, maybe even more, a month. Just so they can host your email list. Aweber is making money online right now. I don't think Aweber is an offline company. So. You worry about your radio show though. Well what's the problem with your radio show? You have to make 12 weeks to make a CD. Um, okay. Then what are you doing? What is there to worry about the radio show? Worry not enough content. You're doing a radio show. Um, it is about personal development. Well, what I would do is make a guideline. Make an outline, really. You know, think of 12 different topics. 12 topics that you can cover in an hour or 30 minutes. Make it short, 30 minutes, okay? But I don't know what they want to hear. Okay, well, why did you even get into personal development? You, If you know personal development well enough, you should know that there's four main huddles that people need to jump over in order to get to their end goal. Whatever their end goal is, what personal development is, you want to get them to that goal or at least somewhere close to it. So what you can do is talk about the four main huddles. All right, and you can just break those four main huddles down into like three segments each, really. There you go, you have your different, you have your 12 weeks of content, really. Just write it down or make a mind map. <laughs> I mean, I'm famous for making mind maps right now. You know, like, I don't even know, I don't know nothing about personal development or anything like that. But if I were to make a mind map right now, um, let's see if I can make a new one. If I were to make a mind map, let's say, because I know music. I know what artists look for in music. If I were to make a mind map just for musicians, all right, it'd be musicians. I know what musicians want. A lot of them want their music heard, okay? So, music heard. Music heard, all right? And in turn, to getting their music heard, they get fans, all right? They want fans. By getting fans, they want what? That record deal. Want record deal. By getting that record deal, what ultimately happens? They get paid. All right? So the main goal for musicians is to get paid. They want to get paid for doing something they love doing. That's making music. All right? And then from there, you would just break down this even further. So you'd be new main note, let's say, music heard. And we'll talk about how different ways people can get their music heard. First of all, they need to actually make some damn music. Okay. It's like you can't just sing in a shower and expect people to hear about it. So make music. The next step to that would be um, get it online. Get music online. All right. Then once they have their music online, guess what? They have to... Promote the music, <laughs> all right? Promote music. Simple stuff. And if I wanted to, you can make it even further. You can be like, okay, and how would you promote music? Well, you have to get fans to actually listen to the damn music. Create fans. Did that too that I didn't, but my town know where to get my files. They know where to get your files, as in download your files for free, because if that's a problem, that means you're not securing your information. 
So, that's something on you. Bam. Through here. Throw you in there from there. Bam. Alright, you can use the card and make music. So, but for some people, this is in for everybody, every niche, whatever. Alright, it's always taking this first step. See, with musicians, is to make music. That's, like, really easy to do, but some people just can't bring themselves to do it. Really? That's something you have to do. How do you want to ultimately get paid for making music if you're not making any music? You see what I'm saying? If you want to make money online, how are you going to make money online if you don't have anything out? You haven't took the necessary steps to build a really good system. You see what I'm saying? It's like those people who say, I want to make money online. But I don't want to do anything. I want to have like a hundred thousand person list, but I don't know what it, I don't want to do anything. I just want to send a button. I want to click a button and have it all happen for me. Doesn't happen. You need to build that own system yourself. Make that funnel happen. Make it happen on your own. All right. Like when people buy products, really, and then probably like two or three days later, they say the product is garbage, and it's like, well, did you do what the product told you to do? You know what I'm saying? Did you follow the steps? If you would have kept with it, it would have worked. But for some reason, you was like, it's not working for me after 24 hours, then you quit. That's the wrong answer because that product could have made you millions of dollars, if not more. So, back to the musicians since we're helping Wing out right now. Musicians, music heard, make music, get music online, promote music. Now we need to get fans for this music. How would you get fans? Twitter? This is just for music. Is the immediate places I would go to because these places are popping. Twitter would be the second place, actually. The first place would be the, would be YouTube. To the music online. You know, people love video nowadays, so. Still, people love Twitter and Facebook, but still, video is king, really. When it comes to content, video. All right, then Facebook. I would do Facebook last, honestly. I wouldn't do video first. I would actually do Facebook last. Video would be first because the video, you put your music online that way. You know, once the music is online, then you can send it to people on Twitter. Then from Twitter, send it to people on Facebook. See what I'm saying? It's a funnel. But your video isn't too pro, so what? That's why I stopped doing those. Those are excuses you're making for yourself to not do something. That's why people fail. Quit making excuses and just do it. No more excuses. Just do it. My video is not professional, so what? Do it. <laughs> people will in turn, well, damn, since the video is crappy, yeah, but you still made the video and kept it online? That shows something. That shows character. That's something people might need to see. So. This already. I already have six weeks worth of content right here. Already. All freaking ready. Six weeks. That quickly. So. My first radio show. Be to make music. I'm talking about the importance of making music. And I will constantly emphasize this goal of getting paid. I'm like, well. How the hell are you supposed to get paid if you don't make music? And then you're probably going to like, okay, you need to get this software. Don't worry, it's free. All right, get a pen and some paper, start writing down some music, get some beats, get some free beats of YouTube, whatever. Start making music, all right? Then once you have that one song created, make a little quick video for it, really quick. Get the music online, put it up on YouTube, put it up on other mp3 hosting websites things like that and then with the promote music we talked to them like look you need to promote this music this is very important i mean people won't hear it. people some people are just going to find your music by accident but other people are going to find your music because you told them you gave them your music all right this is where you find it bam here's the link all right you're stressing the importance of that then Second step, want fans. Once people get their music heard, the next big dilemma they have is, how do I build my fan base? And you would talk to them, this is how you would build this.